Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to make prequel falling in reverse low budget. We will be using 98 or well 90% of only stock BST plugins instruments in a Studio One uh, besides the drum kit. This is only production. It's not like I'm going to mix this but I, I will find for good sounds and show you certain techniques to, to get certain sounds from the production before mixing. So we're going to analyze a little bit of the production and I will explain you and show you what I choose or why what I choose from my BSTs stocks from s 1 and we will see at the end how this is gonna work. So let's hit play to this beautiful production and sound orchestral. Okay, first you can hear there is a riser, boom, and plus the effects of him walking and he like uh, going through his school and that sound. Besides that, you get this boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. That is a PC or PC or PC Caro cello that I found here, and I'll show you how this sounds, the beginning and how similar it is. This is a Studio One uh, cello, and the preset is crescendo, and it sounds like this. I'm going to level up this, and there you have it. Then we got the second one, that is this. Uh, cello staccato and you got that accentuated uh boom 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 that is not only that i i used to hear this cello crescendo but i could it only to get like the boom like this And there we have the first part of this. Now let's continue on the video. Dear diary, dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. Okay, here happened two things. There is a little like 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 bloom explosive thing when he starts to sing, like boom. This this is not like explosion explosion. This is more like like orchestral drums that sounds different from acoustic drums. So, and two, you can hear, Dear Diary, Dear Diary. There is an effect on the side. If you're a beginner, I'll show you here how that is achieved, like that, that is spread thing on the sides. Plus the pizzicatos on the violins, that is a tan, 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 is doing almost the same thing that the shallows but octave above la, as they are violins. So I'll show you here how I achieved that. So basically I did two takes of, of vocals because you will hear this a lot of or multiple times, this reinforcements in, in the voice on the side. So you gotta make two takes, the center take and the spread or side takes and you will get something like this. Dear diary, dear diary. Now for the for the strings or violins, I used to the stock plugin here in Personas Studio One, and is here I play a little bit with the rate and with the mix, like it's to ease a lot of ambience on the song. So I, so I use more size, more mix, and more rear on the heights, and a little bit of free delay to, to continue keeping some of this attack, tan, 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 tan. So we, we show three things here. And let's continue on the song. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat trying to stop my mind from spiraling. And that's irony, that's irony. I'm just looking for there are two things here okay happening there if you hear 
and the background of the vocal is going like something like tick 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 That is basically, I found a side stick with a lot of reverb and control in the attack. And there is to this bed of things, low things, that I'll tell you what I use from Personas for that. Uh, let's see, here's the strings, that is the pizzicato that I already show you. Here is the low and synth path. That is this. Is making only a bed or a bed for the song so it doesn't feel empty um, after that here the little thing that I told you the orchestral drums this person doesn't have something like this so I download this that is a free let's see where it is that is what I told you that that explosive thing that you hear boom Okay. And that is at the beginning too. If you hear. Boom. And it's behind at the sides as I explained you. Now hear it in context. And this side stick that I took it from the drum kit. That for the drum that I, I will take a little bit later about it. That is this. And would be like this. Dear Diary, Dear Diary I'm excited because the sound is not like, like we say it hits Pokemon or, or too bad. It, it, it's sounding pretty, pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, not at the level of them, maybe because they use real old things. But with this, it's sounding nice at the moment. Let's continue with, this, with the song. For a resolution, I just want to be a better human. Let's go here. With the world and not just with you. That is the effect on the side of abuse and, and on, of the abuse on the side. So there are three takes in that little place to reinforce the vocal and made it feel big. I admit I'm a little strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived a whole life of pain. I'm a cynical. Say I escaped my fate. I'm a cynical. Here now we have the drums and we have this orchestral massive shore or choral thing behind that make sounds this epic. I love the, these these guys are, are a beast of, of creativity to be honest. Say I escape my fate. I'm a cynical and here there is another riser. Personas for some reason doesn't have one, but it's a riser, but it's like a riser like like with a string is it's like 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 you are like with with a steel like making to another piece of of steel making it like I don't know how to explain that. Say I escape my fate. I'm a cynical, egotistic. Here with the drums, there is boom boom. That that is the drum kit, the toms snare and as well behind to make it more epic is this orchestral drum thing behind okay now let's go to this part with the drum kit and another part here that i forgot to here you start to get a little bit more of bottom end and two like this little snare, uh, urban snare. Listen at the center. It's the side effects of abuse. I admit I'm a little strange. And I, I get it pretty close with Persona's impact here. Let's see the snare I use.
there you have the snare. Now, if we jump to the part where where they where the drums is going to can to come in. There is a bed of themes, but with distortion, like and and it drops. Mm, like a alarm, but it's not alarm, it's a synth, but with a lot of distortion. Unpredictable, hard criminal, and, I can be and this vocal, oh, 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 oh. It's just exciting to see these guys once and once and over and over again. So, uh, for these things, what I did, I put a couple of synths bass. Uh, I didn't find the the, the right red risers or racers. You can find your own for your production because to find the exact one they did is pretty <laughs> ridiculous, you know. Um, so for this part where the drums comes in, this two synth. I use floating preset. I had to cut off something and and touch a little bit of these things, give a bit more of punch. I changed the filter to this one, and on this one, I I changed the filter to this one. I give a a lot of punch. Let let me show you how both of them sounds one by one. That one sounds like that, but I made a cleanup. I could use presence, but just by default, I use the Pro Q just to clean a bit. And there you have it, distortion. And the other one sounds like this. And both together. And now for the drum part, uh, to don't go like too out of control, I use this one that is the Luke Hall and that is the drummer of Falling River. So this I might tweak it in mix to get it to get it similar to them. But this is the closest thing to a start as a starting point because it's his drum sound. So why you would use another thing if this is something that he work on? So you can, after that, tweak it. And this will come here from this part. And the shores, or the choruses here. So, for this choral part, I use Personus Shore Ha per Percussive. That sounds like this. So basically you get the point, obviously he used a orchestral theme because you can hear the voices, amazing. But if you don't have for that, this should could be a good option. Use a little bit of reverb and, and you get the point. So on the drum part, this is the drums and the orchestral drums together. To get more expansion here. So there you have it. And after this, you know, the sound gives turns around, turns around. So only the razors are, are your homework. If you want to try to build something similar to them, not, not like you're going to copy this, just the idea of how the structure works. So let's hear it all in context from the beginning. And let's go. Remember, subscribe, thumbs up. 
Let me know if you like this. If you want part two where I work the distorted guitar and something like that, let me know in the comments so I know that was worth it to spend half or, of my afternoon looking for this uh, free options to make a production like this. So let's hear it from the beginning. Dear Diary, Dear Diary There you have it, okay? Have a good day. Thumbs up, subscribe again, and let me know what you think about it, okay? Have a wonderful day.